So, Ray Craig Hansen here, pros versus amateurs. Going to love this one, guys. We're going to be looking at the lateral shift, the lateral linear movement from the top of the golf swing. And uh, we'll be looking at it in slow motion and comparing it to club golfers around the world. Now, get this. There's 40 million golfers without enough lateral shift from the top of the swing into impact. Question is, how much is enough? We're going to look at that in this video and uh, give you guys an understanding perhaps of your swing pattern as well. If you don't have enough lag or a lot of lag in your swing, you're going to need a little bit more lateral movement. So let's have a look at Oosthuizen here. What a lovely swinger he is. And we'll see this lead hip here moving average four to six inches, but there's got to be a bit more on that one. And obviously he does that because he doesn't have a whole bunch of angle compared to some of the other players. But we'll see the angle of the club coming in different positions here. This all affects your angle of the tack and your low point, right? So if you don't have any lateral movement, you don't have any lag, you're going to be hitting fat shots and thin shots. If you don't have much lag, you need more lateral movement, right? If you have heaps of lag, you don't need as much. Right, let's go and have a look at a couple of the other unbelievable ball strikers here. Proof in the pudding, evidence-based material. Golf tips, the days of golf tips, they're over. You've got to get in there and work on all the proven information. Chip away at your golf, don't go around in circles and just clicking on things because they've got lots of views. It's ridiculous. Right, let's get in there and have a look at this move here through the golf ball, six to eight inches. You'd have to say that's six inches there. That's the standard you would see here uh, with Woods here with half of the lead leg through the wall. Going to get into some amateurs coming up and there's a 70% chance that you'll be in these same positions. So wait for that one. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied in helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. All right, let's have a listen to what, um, first we'll take a listen or we'll look at what McElroy says, what he does when he gets to the top of his swing. And bumping, and see that written, I'm written bumping into the left side. So when he gets to the top of this one, we see that lateral move. Good drill. This one, guys, if you can get that separation from your bottom half and moving in. He talks about a pressure into the lead foot. Now, we don't have to drop down that much for a lot of you guys out there. That's a bit disruptive, but feeling a bit of pressure and moving into that lead hip. What did Lee Trevino say about this? One of the best ball strikers uh, of all time. Let's have a, a listen. I'll we'll just uh, get in there and see what he has to say. Two, three, mm. and there I go. My first movement of the downswing, I actually broke my knees in front of the ball. I actually would break my knees because I, when I took the club back, I was a little shot, a little outside, and I had to get the club back inside. And in order to get it back and lay it back off, you've got to move your knees first. You can't turn. And the knees have to be broken towards the target. So you can't turn, and this is the thing that a lot of people are getting, right, around the world. They just think they have to turn, they have to turn. But they're leaving out the lateral movement. Now, when you have a really have a look at averages of movement, and you have a look at this, it makes sense, right? It makes sense to work on something and chip away at it. And this is what we show you on World Class Golf Instruction. All right? We've got a video platform there with 700 videos, all different areas, power project. We've got areas for seniors, advanced pitching projects. We've got biomechanics, how to build a swing, takeaways, everything. For beginners, there's all sorts of stuff. A huge series for advanced players there. And we get in there and show you how to look at also your swing patterns. Right? So you've got to get understand that there's, you know, there's obviously, and as I've said in a few of my other videos, there's a thousand different swings, but there's four or five things we all have to do to hit great shots. Now, guys, let's have a look here. Now, with some of these uh, club golfers here, they play pretty decent golf in their own right. So let's get in there and have a look at some of the, some of the moves that we'll see. Now, they're, they're very, very similar. So you've got millions and millions and millions of people all swing very much the same around the golf course. Check this out. Right? So stay tuned. Oh, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button. Hit the bell. If you like the video, like the video. That helps me out. And, uh, yeah, we can have a chat underneath. We do have a community chat room on War Class Golf, and it's nice to talk about the game and get everyone on the sort of the same page. Now you can see there obviously uh, not as much lateral move. It's a decent swing and a decent stride. Now obviously there's some limitations in the way that we're built sometimes or the, perhaps the flexibility when we're maybe not, not 19 years old anymore. But isn't that uh, remarkable? Just have a look at this hand pattern before I go away here. So we'll just notice this in the other videos coming up. All right, so not a lot of lag. This one was scraped away okay, but not a lot of lag. And you can sort of see a bit of a, 
uh, chicken wing type of style release that most people have. So that what a lot of people are doing around the world is that it's a bit of a skill level. They don't have a lot of angle. And because of that, they don't have the, the rotation that they need. Now, I'm not just, just saying on World Class Golf Attraction, we have a, a complete series here on uh, the move of millions. Now, let's have a look here at some of these uh, other swings. We'll see similar, not a lot, tiny bit of lateral movement, exact same hand pattern uh, through the golf ball. Have a look here. Now, it's about hitting, you know, when you're hitting 20 balls, you want to hit about 18 or 19 or maybe all of them clean and not just... Uh, 11 of them, isn't it? So when you're out on the golf course, you need your transport, fat and shit, thin shots, not really happening. There's another one for you. S exact same hand pattern uh, through the golf ball. Let's pop up a line here on the side. Just giving you guys an idea. Tiny bit of lateral movement, very, very similar hand pattern. Now, if you guys are in that world or that type of pattern, um, you can get yourself up to a pattern like this. This is like the next level. I wish I had have, uh, had this guy's swing before, but you'll see there is some lateral movement, there's a bit more lag, and there's a bit more rotation, and that's a bit of a more dynamic motion, isn't it? And that, you can train that in and, and get that in there. Now, having said that, uh, when we look at a couple of unique individuals, someone like Lee Westwood, you know, obviously you'll see a lot of movement downwards here, but what we'll see is a, a hand pattern, big lateral shift, isn't it? Huge shift over. And but what we'll see is we get into impact and, and just after impact, very much a similar, apart from the head moving down and all the lateral movement, a very similar type of release to what a lot of the club golfers have. We can see here he does obviously have a bit more dynamic release there, but it's an interesting one. Now if you took a piece of this now he has what I call, there's three different transitions. This is a bit of a slide and hold transition. But if you get your club face coming down and it's in a good position, a strong position, it's not open, and you still have this style of release that millions, around 40 million have, if you get the correct lateral movement, you will get your low point in a fantastic position. So there's different ways. It doesn't always have to look that great to play some great golf. Obviously he has a little bit more lag there, so guys, get into the correct information, get into the patterns of your swing and work diligently on practicing uh, good information over a period of time and that's how you make changes. There isn't a magic wand, but you do have to get your hands on good information. Check out World Class Golf Instruction or for online lessons, craighansongolf.com. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope it helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.